Thomas, and I'm a sex researcher. So I was recently telling you all about breakups, and now I want to move on past that and talk to you about how you can stop dating the same person over and over again. If you've been dating for a while, or maybe you have a friend that's been dating for a while, at some point either you have said or they have said, why do I feel like I just keep dating the same person over and over again? Well, I have some good news and some bad news. So I'm gonna start off with the bad news and then tell you the good news. So if you'd rather hear the good news first, go forward about 15 seconds, then come back here and listen to the bad news. The bad news is that in every relationship that you're in, there's only one common denominator. And it's you. You're the only person that's in every single relationship that you're in. So you have to take some responsibility for these relationships. You do have a role in picking these partners. Now the good news is that I'm gonna tell you how to stop doing it. I'm gonna tell you how to stop dating the same person over and over again. There are a lot of different theories about how and why we choose the people to be in relationships with that we do. One of the most simple processes of mate selection is only three steps. And it's really great at helping you understand why you get into relationships with the people that you do and little things that you can do to change that. Step one, who's around or in your pool of eligibles? Humans are creatures of habit. We have activities that we regularly do, and we have schedules that we love to adhere to. Seeing the same person over and over again can lead to a feeling of familiarity. It can make us feel more comfortable, even if we don't actually know the person. Also, if you're seeing the same person or people over and over in the same places, it suggests that you have some things in common and they might be similar to you. Of course, you can't change what other people do and where they go, but you can change what you do and where you go. Make changes into your daily life. For example, if I wanted to meet new people, I would change the gym I go to, take a different train to work, go different places for lunch, or maybe use a different grocery store, and get engaged in things you love doing. So then you can meet someone who also enjoys those activities. This doesn't have to be a huge change to your daily routine. Just little things can make a big difference and open up the variety of people you meet every day. The next step is who's appealing, who you're attracted to. This could be as simple as what they look like, their personality, even their social status. It could also be more complicated. And this is the spot where we sometimes get stuck in with dating the same person over and over again. We think we can't control who we're attracted to, but I have a quick exercise that might change that. Pause, grab a piece of paper, a pen, and then come back. Okay, going across the top of the paper, I want you to write the names of everyone you have dated that you would consider to be significant. Now I want you to make two columns under each of their names. One column is going to be their bad qualities and the other column is going to be their good qualities. Keep in mind that the bad qualities don't have to be severe like they hit you or abused you. Just things like they were aloof, they didn't text back, uh, they didn't want a relationship, they never gave out compliments, they were too serious. Things that you would consider to be negative qualities. After you've done that, take a look at all the bad qualities. Do you see any similarities? We often think that we're going after the good qualities in people, but often we're actually going after the bad. Here comes the hard part. Start noticing these bad qualities in people when you start to see them. I'm not saying ignore the good and only focus on the bad, but if someone doesn't reach out to you or is aloof, don't continue to chase them. If someone doesn't compliment you or congratulate you on things, Stop pursuing them and hoping they will. If someone upfront says, I'm not looking for a relationship, believe them. Don't convince yourself that they'll change their mind. And step three, the third and final step. Who is interested in you? Yeah, we don't have very much control over this. Reciprocal liking, they have to like you too. And there's not a lot that you can do about it. Sure, you might be tempted to maybe change some things about yourself to try to fit with them better, but then you might end up lying about who you are and that's not gonna have a very good outcome. You're not going to enjoy that relationship. So I wouldn't recommend it. Really? That's it. That's all you've gotta to do to stop dating the same person over and over again. Change a little bit of your daily routine and stop chasing these bad qualities. Stop going after those people that always lead you to fall into the same traps over and over again. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. I've got a lot of content in production and I don't want you to miss out. So go ahead and click that subscribe button. And in the meantime, check out one of these other videos. And don't forget to send me your questions about sex to thomastalksabout at gmail.com.
Don't you hear? Don't 